Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is healthy and happy. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be learning uh, vocabulary about uh, vehicles. Um, I've already gone ahead and uh, taken a look at the video and I've got the computer to stop at the important parts. Uh, when the computer pauses, I will uh, read off what we're looking at uh, so you can have a better idea of what these items are around the outside of a car. Okay, so let's go ahead and load the screen. Perfect. All right, uh, computer, let's start the video. All right, computer stopped here because this is what is called a fender, uh, a mudguard or area around the wheel well of a vehicle. Okay, and the computer resumed the video. And okay, we're still walking around the vehicle. And okay, the computer paused. Uh, this is what is called a hood. Uh, is the hinge cover over the engine motor uh, of a vehicle. Okay. Uh, all right, computer is starting the video. And the computer paused right here again. So, uh, so far we've learned about a fender and a hood. Now, uh, this part right here is called a, a headlight. Uh, a light attached to the front of the vehicle to illuminate the road ahead. All right, perfect. And moving on, okay, uh, the computer stopped right here too. Okay, so this is what is called a grill. Uh, covers an opening in the body of a vehicle to allow air to enter and exit. Okay, very interesting. So that is called a grill. Hmm. Not for cooking though. Hmm. <laughs> All right, and resuming. All right. All right, what is this now? Uh, this is called a front bumper, a structure attached to or integrated uh, with the front and rear of the motor vehicle to absorb impacts in a small uh, minor collision. Perfect. Okay. And moving on. All right. Okay. The computer stopped right there and it says that this is called a windshield. Uh, the front window of a car. Okay, makes sense, windshield. Um, okay, moving on. Oh, he's grabbing something here, okay. All right, and the computer stopped right there and uh, identifies this as a windshield wiper, uh, a device for keeping a windshield clean of rain or clear of rain, uh, typically one with a rubber blade on an arm that moves at an arc. So uh, it would move back and forth at an arc. Perfect. Okay, moving on. All right. Yeah, we got a good look at the uh, windshield wiper. Okay, computer stops right there. Uh, and this is what the computer identifies as a side view mirror, uh, a mirror on the outside of a vehicle that allows the driver to see what is behind and to the right or left of the vehicle. Okay. All right. Moving on. Hmm. All right. Okay. And the computer stops right there too. Uh, this is what is called a door handle. Uh, a handle specifically designed to operate a car door, so uh, to open a door, basically. Okay, moving on. And the computer stopped right there. Okay, so off to the uh, off to the side of the video, uh, you can see something that is called the gas tank, uh, a hinged door used to cover the opening of the gas tank. Uh, so it's not actually the gas tank, but that's what it would be referred to, um, would be referred to as a gas tank. Okay, moving on. All right, computer uh, computer stopped right there. Um, now, I reviewed this earlier and it looks like there's quite a few items here, uh, but you can only really see two of them. So we'll go over the first two right now uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pull out the other three items. Uh, there's five total uh, to have a closer look at them, okay? Uh, this first one uh, is what you would call a rim. Uh, a rim holds the rubber tire in place so that the vehicle can function, okay? And the next thing uh, is, okay, is the tire, so the outside. Uh, uh, a ring-shaped component that surrounds the wheel's rim uh, that provides traction 
on the surface traveled over. Okay, all right, so uh, it provides the traction, uh, whatever surface you're driving on. Okay, uh, and now computer, I do see the other three items behind the, uh, the rim. Uh, can we go ahead and maybe uh, pull those out? Okay, and let's give it a spin. Perfect, okay, let's identify what those are. Um, computer identifies the first item, which is the round item, uh, as a brake rotor, uh, a round flat piece of steel attached to a rod uh, that is held in place on the inside of the wheel, okay? And the next item is a, okay, so the part at the very top of the, um, it's attached to the, the rotor, uh, is called a brake caliber. Uh, it squeezes the brake pad against the surface of the brake rotor to slow or stop the vehicle. Okay, and the next item would be, uh, the next item would be a brake pad, but that's still hard to see. So let's go ahead and move those out of the way. And now we can just see the brake pad, perfect. Uh, the component that contacts and applies pressure and friction to the vehicle's brake rotors. Okay, perfect. All right, so we learned five things in that one clip. Perfect, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that off the screen. All right, let's resume. Okay, we're moving on. Get a really good close look at that tire. Hmm. All right. And the computer stopped right there, okay. So uh, these grooves in or on the tire uh, are called tire treads. Um, the rubber on its circumference, uh, oh, excuse me, the rubber on its circumference that makes contact with the road. Uh, over time, uh, tread can wear down, resulting in what is called bald tires. Bald. Oh, that's hurtful. All right, moving on. All right, yeah, we, we see the tire, okay? It's not bald, all right? It's got good tread. All right, and computer stopped right there. Uh, this is what is called the either a tail light or a brake light, uh, or th those are two different names for it. A red light at the rear of the motor vehicle, okay? All right, okay. Oh, and there's one more thing here. Uh, something that's called a reverse light. Uh, a white, white lights on the back of a motor vehicle which shine when the vehicle is in reverse gear. Perfect, okay. Moving on. And the computer stopped right there. Okay, this has two different names as well. Uh, this could either be called a tailgate or a trunk, uh, a hinged board or door at the rear of the vehicle that can be moved up or down during loading and unloading. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. And looks like we have a couple items here as well. Uh, this one, uh, the first one is a rear bumper. Uh, a structure attached to or integrated with, oh, it's the same definition as the front bumper. A structure attached to or integrated with the front and rear of motor vehicles to absorb minor, sorry, the, uh, to absorb impacts of a minor collision. So yeah, it was the exact same thing, okay. All right, and this next one here, right above it is called a, license plate uh, a sign affixed to a vehicle's display uh, vehicle displaying a series of letters or numbers indicating that the vehicle has been registered okay moving on yeah i told you we had a lot to go over <coughs> Oof. Ugh. Uh, just all that smoke on the screen there just made me cough a little bit uh you can't see in this picture uh but this is called a muffler uh a component of the exhaust system of a car. Okay, but let's let's see if we can get a better better look at that. So let's pull that out. Okay, and let's give it a spin. Okay, perfect. That's what a, a car muffler would look like if we could see it. Uh, okay, moving on. Okay, so we're moving on here. It's still smoky. <laughs> All right, getting a good look at the back of the vehicle. All right, and. Oh, okay. Uh, the computer stopped right there, and uh, these windows look a little dark. Uh, that's because they are called what what is called uh, tinted windows, uh, a process in which a transparent sheet of film is applied to the inside of a vehicle's window. Okay, perfect. Moving on. 
we're going on top of the car now and the computer stopped right there that is called a roof rack uh, a framework for carrying luggage or equipment on the roof of a vehicle okay so you would attach something to the top of the vehicle so you can carry more luggage around okay moving on all right now we're getting to the start of the front of the car again so all right what is that okay computer stopped and uh, the computer tells me that this is called a radio antenna a straight flexible wire or rod used for receiving radio waves okay all right okay i think that's pretty much it um so if you learned a lot of vocabulary about uh, vehicles um that is the outside of the vehicle we'll also be doing a video on the inside of the vehicle uh, in the near future so if you did like that uh, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below to show some love and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace hey guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit that like button and of course smash that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel by smashing my face that face not this face show some love down in the comment section too if you feel like it thanks guys peace huh what oh we're doing one of those bonus things at the end of the video uh okay um computer uh start the video yeah, we've been here before. I've seen this place before. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video above. That's the car wash video. Yeah, we just did that recently. All right, we're driving over to this area over here. What could these things be? Uh, okay, computer, pause the video. Um, this is what is called an island, a vacuum island. Hmm. So Vacuum Island is a uh, separate area for cleaning out your car. Hmm. So that's another island. We just learned about a, a kitchen island in one of my last videos as well. I'll leave that link above too. So uh, this is going to be for the bonus. Um, what is this item called? It's called another island. Hmm. I always thought islands were out in the ocean. Hmm. But now we have islands in the ocean, islands in the kitchen, and islands at the, the car wash. <laughs> Crazy. Why can't they just use a different word? Okay. Vacuum Island. All right. Hope you enjoyed that extra bonus. That's going to be uh, worth double points. See ya. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button. And of course, smash that bell for notifications. And subscribe to the channel by smashing my face. That face. Not this face. Show some love down in the comment section too, if you feel like it. Thanks guys. Peace. Oh, a double fake ending. This is what is called a blinker or an indicator. It lets people know when you're turning left or right. That's another bonus. Two times the points. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button. And of course, Smash that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel by smashing my face. That face, not this face. Show some love down in the comment section too, if you feel like it. Thanks guys, peace.